So monologues, monologues, monologues. I would, um, what I'll do is let me see if I, let me play a monologue and get what you think about it. Hopefully you can see it well. Yeah. Clearly, kinship. I should write that I am guilty. Me, guilty of murder. I told you, I don't know how she got into my house. Talk less of how she's turned up dead. But all you're concerned about is me writing that I am guilty. Why? Ah. My brother, that book with you today, isn't it? He's doing this because of a bloody inheritance. That's all. Because of the inheritance. That's why Dapo puts you up to this. Okay. That is fine. I am not writing this. Let him do that. Take me back to myself. Wow. Man, have you? <laughs> That's not how to do a professional monologue. <laughs> Let me just tell you. And, and the reason why I would say that that's not how to do a professional monologue is because this is in a portrait mode, okay? And I did this like this. I mean, nobody feel me past myself right now. I did this like this intentionally, okay? And that's because I already know how to shoot a monologue. If you want to start doing stunts with a car, you better have to, you better know how to drive the car normally first. Or else, now you go if I break. Do you get me? So, if you want to do a professional monologue, first and foremost, it's supposed to be portrait. Pretty much like what this video looks like. Not, la uh, I mean, it's supposed to be landscape. Can you imagine? I just said portrait. It's supposed to be a landscape video and not a portrait video. This is a portrait. This is what your landscape looks like. Fantastic. Um, most times, most times, the videos are going to be played on social media such as Instagram and that is why I did this so if you're trying to get like reactions from people and you want people to see the video Instagram pretty much supports this type of layout which is exactly why I did it like this okay so do not jump and say oh because Jay Blaze I mean his video was portrait then I should do portrait or more you go carry last Especially if you think or you are saying it out there that it is a professional monologue. But if you already know that this is why you are doing the video, then that's fine. At the very least, another thing I was going to say, which I said before, is do not put music in your monologues. Whatever it is that you call a professional monologue, don't put music. Sometimes, if I do a video that's supposed to be a monologue and I decide to put music there, it is because I will, I will literally write it down that this is an acting piece, not a professional monologue. Do you understand? Because I know what a professional monologue is and I know that music should not be there. But why I put the music there is because I wanted a different feel most likely. And I want you to feel something more. Now as a director, a casting director, whenever you post a monologue, we already put the music in our head. But by the time you put the music in the video, you're trying to confuse us, you're trying to sway us. Because now, because of the music, that acting might not look, what is like 3 over 10, but when they look like it's like 9 over 10. It's wrong. Okay? And sometimes when I see videos, and like, oh, this is my monologue, and I press play and I hear music, I was like, okay, here we go again. But you have taken it a lot away from the importance of the monologue. First and foremost, do not put music in a professional monologue okay i know some directors in nigeria here that would already tell you send me a video without the music i'm not even going to mention i know off of my head, I know like two three people they already tell you just send me a video without the music because they know already they have they've gone they've gone past that stage when you want to shoot your monologue you need to understand that a monologue a monologue needs to feel like the trailer of a film if not why am i watching that particular monologue because a monologue is supposed to sell you the way a trailer sells a film a monologue should sell you you want to make a monologue you need to give us different ranges of emotions it doesn't necessarily mean that oh you can't shout now there are a sort of people that feel like 
once they shout, once they cry, once shout cry, once they act like mad woman or mad man, they don't act. They don't act finish, I they tell you. I got a dub again. Let me tell you now. Knowing how to cry, knowing how to shout, and knowing how to act like a mad person does not make you an actor. I mean, I wouldn't say not in Hollywood because there are some spaces where that can work. But unfortunately for you, Nollywood is already advancing so much that that is not all we want anymore. We want the real deal. We want to be able to put in a film that will be internationally accepted because most of our films are now going on streaming platforms. No longer just, uh, let's just put it on YouTube or let's put it on a TV station that people might not even get to watch. And yo, remember, some films are for, are for some particular audience, so pff, no debate about that. But now, monologues, no audio. I mean, when I mean no audio, no music, try not to do crying, shouting, this, this, this. If you're going to cry, connect with your emotions. Let us see it coming. Like, not like action. We don't see like three buckets of tears. No. Action. You're talking, talking. In fact, you could start angry, frustration. Then, boom, we just see a tear or two drop and it becomes serious. I'm like, okay. And then, most importantly, you need to already become. Now, in a monologue, your first 10, 15 seconds are supposed to be one of the strongest part of your monologue. Because now, in casting rooms, I tell you, most times, casting directors do not get to look at the screen. In order, they're not looking at the screen. They are, because they're probably going to see like 3,000 videos or more. So now a casting director could probably be busy on the phone and or talking with somebody else. But because of how your monologue starts, then they pay attention to the screen like, okay, let's see what this person has to offer. And that's the 10, 15 seconds, the first 10, 15 seconds. Some cases, they actually press play. You might you talk five, 10, Six, five, I said five, ten, five, six, seven, eight, nine. By the time you get to ten, they're already going next to the next video. Because you have not sold yourself in that first ten seconds. And how do you sell yourself in the first 10, 15 seconds of your monologue? I know you want to hear this. <laughs> have you subscribed to this video? This is me playing with you in terms of suspense. But yes, please do subscribe, like this video, like the channel, comment, and let's go. How do you sell yourself in the first 10 to 15 seconds? All of this is I'm saying, I'm not saying them from a book, I'm literally saying them from my head. And this is from experience, okay? And it differs from people to people. But selling yourself in the first 10, 15 seconds of your monologue video involves a couple of things. Your facial expression. Your voice. Your voice. Your voice. I'm saying voice more than once because, like I said, they may not look at the screen, but they will hear your voice. Pissy. How you pace those these three things these three things can literally make any casting director sit to finish the video i'm trying to think there's any other thing but i'm telling you that these three things first i must when you're doing a monologue i will have said oh, what you wear and it's it but what you're doing a monologue most times is a black t-shirt don't distract us don't give us any other thing that you don't want your teacher some people write, have their teacher on the teacher in front of it they're writing or more idea chris or uh Look at me, I'm fine as, what the hell? Yo, don't give us things that will distract us from watching the monologue, okay? Now, the three things I mentioned, facial expression. Now, on action, right, some people will start the monologue more like, so you want to say, probably the guy wants to say my dad is dead, and I don't know what to do. What do I do? That's the beginning of the monologue. Now, you just come on action, my daddy is dead. I don't know what to do. What should I do? Yo, yo, are we playing? It's no joke. But another person comes and it's action. And remember I said there's facial expression, right? So what I'm gonna do now is to focus on facial expression. So you get what I'm trying to say. Then I'll tell you what I mean by voice. So it's action. It's not even looking at the camera. My dad is dead. I don't know what to do. What do I do? This is me playing with my face. To tell a story. 
it's entirely different. And I know that you're going to wait for me. Now, let me do the voice. So in terms of the voice, <laughs> I, don't mind me. I, I like that my voice is deep most times. Um, whenever I switch it to acting and characters, I pick characters and most times they have a very masculine voice and the rest. But pacing, pacing is trying to put a bit of, like when we talk in real life, hello, how are you? I am going to the market. Now I just paused going to, and that's not, like it's not intentional, but that's how we speak and that makes it as real as possible. It makes me know that it's a thought process, meaning it's actively going on in your head, not that you have read something, you've crammed it, and you're coming to deliver and say, take. It's different. Then you're giving me an, that extra spice. Okay, so pacing. And pacing works with, like I said, remember the trailer of a film? Pacing is more like you're giving me that genge moment. So, my dad is dead. Boom. I don't know what to do. What? What do I do? That's pure pacing. And you're already moving from this scale to this scale. And before you can do things with pacing on a set, for example, it's also because you are very confident. And truth be told, if what you're doing is right, the audience will wait for you. Your director will wait for you. Your co-actor will wait for you. Because you want to digest it. And while you are pacing those words, it's also because it is heavy. It is very important. So if I want to do the monologue and it's my dad is dead, I don't know what to do. What do I do? Contrary to how a, a normal, most people will do the monologue and say, my dad is... In fact, some will start crying. Fuck it. <laughs> Permit me. Some will start crying and you expect that because you have shown that you can cry. That's the acting. No. And that person is just going to come. Very silent. So I'm a medical doctor, right? And why I just said that is because even in the hospital, when you bring two patients, into the hospital, right? And this one is shouting. Ah, motivate quote, meaning I will soon die, oh, I will soon die. Oh. And this person is literally shouting and screaming like that. And this person here, yeah, all the person is saying is, yes, I just want water. I can't breathe. I'm telling you that as a doctor, we already know what you're actually going to do. There's something we call triage. You're going to handle this person that seems that it's quiet because this person will go any minute. Meaning the person can die any minute. But you see this other person. Energy, there's plenty of energy. That's why you are shouting with fail. It does not mean that the person is not in pain. And same way with the acting now. You see that patience, that calmness, the confidence in which you say your lines matters a lot. So now you go with, remember I said facial expression and voice. Your voice is very important. But facial expression, I'm not looking at the camera. And I, for example, I'm saying that the camera is the person is talking to. And for every monologue, a monologue should feel like you took it out of a scene in the film. Because literally that's where it is. Because I'm going to put you in a film and in a scene and you need to replicate or do better. So now I'm looking away and I know some of my very, very useless friends that will start forming, you don't need to do master class. Shut up and fuck you. Now let me continue. <laughs> let me just continue. So it's more like you're silent. In fact, it's the action on set. Action, everybody's action. And then it's that one or two second silence. Now what does for the casting director is, oh, didn't I press play? And they check, oh, I press play. Now you've never said anything, but they have looked. That's one. That's one trick. For some people, they won't fall for that trick. The other trick, like I said, is the pacing and code. So you now go with, you look. Now if the person was looking at the phone, because of how you just did the look, and there's one of my friends monologue, um, Charles Bond, I did that in his monologue and it is fantastic. So it's just this and you look. The moment you look, the person holding the phone has a bit of, okay, wait till happen now. You want to enter me? Meaning, what's wrong? Do you want to enter me? Do you want to, why are you being all up in my face? But it's just because of the power in how you open your eyes, how you look at the person, the message that your eyes is passing. Because at the same time, you need to remember that your eyes is the window of your soul. Your eyes is going to speak the character. You're already going to know if somebody is in character from the eyes. And when the person has gone out of character from the eyes. So now you do that and you do... My dad is... is dead. 
I don't know what to do. Tell me, what do I do? Huh? Now, what I've done with that eight seconds ish is I'm gonna make you watch my monologue. You will. They, I'm putting it to you. No matter what you are doing, you're gonna look at that monologue because the texture. The voice is passing a message. And people act a lot with just their face and forget about the voice. But the voice is passing a message. I was pacing. I'm talking like as if I am genuinely thinking of what I'm about to say. Not like I'm, I have it in my head. That's the thing with monologues. Now, if it's a one minute monologue, you need to be able to now go up and down. One minute, two minutes, whatever, go up and down. When you're making a monologue, you need to feel like you're creating music. And with music, there's the chorus, there's the hook, and there's the verse. They don't all sound the same. But you are interested in listening to the hook. You are interested in listening to the chorus. But as much as you love the hook and the chorus, they are useless without the verse. Which in quotes might be boring, except they featured someone like maybe Asha K or something and it's giving you some vibes. But you know what I'm talking about. Um, so it has to be melodious. You are literally playing with the heart of your audience. It's more like you are playing with strings. Okay? So it's now more like, oh, let me just, I'm literally. Sorry, I, I just need to do a bit. The way my eye did look me for back and God. <laughs> so that's just me being in character. Um, so I'm just going to spin off a monologue right now from what we just did. It might not be perfect. I'm not even doing any reasons. But I just want to show you what I mean by playing with the voice and trying to be melodious. Um, my dad is dead. I don't know what to do. Tell me. What do I do? You're laughing and you and you're sitting down there like I say. Whatever it is I'm saying does not matter. I may not have been around. I may have been outside the country. Oh yes. Thank you. But he's my dad. And I care for him. And I love him. I look at everybody seated here today. All wearing blacks. Crying. Even you. Auntie Telma. Well, why are you crying? Why? Because all of this that you put, <laughs> all of this that you pull are doing seems like a joke to me. It was sick, and I sent money home. I sent money to you, you that I call my brother, to take care of. To take care of dad! What did you do? You decided! You decided to spend the money anyhow. Why? Because he is starving now. You don't think that he deserves to rest? To die without pain? But yeah, I am the firstborn and I'm supposed to take care of the burial rights. You know what? Fuck you. So, that is just me doing a monologue. And the purpose, like I said, it may not be perfect. But I'm going to tell you that at the very least, you're going to call me back for a reading. Why? Because I try to play with your emotions. And I keep telling, I can say it in any script. You can make your choices. You can choose how you want to deliver those lines like I just did. Like, do I deliver them in the beginning now? When I said my dad is dead, preferably the way I did it before. If you notice, make your choices and own those choices and be confident. Not everybody can spin off lines from their head. So don't go somewhere and start forming you want to do from your head. 
you can do rehearse out. Okay? You can, you can, I mean, just rehearse and rehearse and rehearse, get monologues. It doesn't have to be your monologue. You don't have to be the one to write it. You can have friends that will write it for you and you do those monologues. But like I'm telling you, you can say, how are you? In 10 different ways. In fact, there's a monologue, especially if you're very strong, that just says, how are you throughout. And you're going to express it in different ways. So you're starting with, <laughs> how are you da? How are you? Uh, how are you? How are you? Now I can do that for a whole one minute and give you different expressions. That's to tell you that you see that monologue that you think it was how it was written. That's why you could not deliver on it. It may not necessarily be how it was written. It's just how you delivered it. Make it melodious. Make it make sense. Okay? Make it a performance. Literally, make it a freaking fucking performance. So many times with monologue, that's your only chance to impress the casting director. That's the only chance they're gonna get to see what you can do and put you in the film. And like I keep saying, the first 10 15 seconds is what matters. This is how you, you, you make a good monologue. Another mistake that people make is you're making your monologue a dialogue. A monologue is mono, mono means one person speaking. I don't need to wait for your response or wait for, oh, you did follow person talk. Meaning you are speaking to someone and the person is going to reply. Absolutely not. That's not what a monologue is entirely. A monologue is you speaking from A to Z. Even if the other person is supposed to say anything, it is more with the official expression. Meaning it's not. So some people's monologue is, how far, what am I supposed to do now? Daddy died, did he call you? Then in my head, we were waiting and we assumed that the person said, yes, he called me. And uh-huh, so he called you. When he now called you, what did he say? The person now replies. He said that he cannot come to his phone. Oh, so he now said he cannot come to phone. That is not a monologue. Never ever go to an audition and do that as a monologue. First, it gives us an idea of your experience. It lets us know what you know as an actor. Secondly, if you're making a tape, a monologue, not an audition tape, because sometimes you might be given an audition tape from casting directors and say, oh, read this scene and deliver back. That way you can have a feed and back thing. But if it's a monologue, you're the only one speaking from beginning to the end. Now, I mean, that's about performance in monologues. You can drop questions. I could decide to do another video in case there's something I've missed. But I want to talk about how to shoot the monologue. See, a lot of people see my monologues. Okay, and they are all like, um, uh, the quality is mad. This is mad. If you see my first monologue, <laughs> it was terrible. But even though it was terrible, it's not as terrible as what I see people do. Now, for casting directors to watch a monologue, it has to be pleasing to the eyes and to the ears. No debate about it. It doesn't mean that. You have to steal money or break the bank to shoot your monologue. If you have a good phone, there are ways to shoot the monologue. Now, I don't shoot my monologues with a phone. I started shooting with a phone, so don't go and compare. Don't kill yourself. Don't break your phone and cost the manufacturer saying, "Uh uh-uh, why not they look dope? This that you watched, it wasn't wasn't made with a phone. This was shot with high-end cinema cameras, okay? And like a three-light setup. I'm not going to tell you how to shoot the monologue this particular way because most of the times people that want to shoot the monologue by themselves do not have any of this. I'm going to tell you how I believe you can shoot with your phone and it will make sense. Uh, Sadly, I use an iPhone so I may not be able to speak so much for Android. It doesn't mean I'm beefing Android or anything. But these are the basics. If you can invest in a mic invest in it there are cheap mics where cheap mics that you connect to the base of the phone and you can paint to your clothes and you know first that would give you clean dialogue whatever you are seeing will be clean i keep telling people you can watch a film with with um with terrible pictures 
but you cannot watch a film with terrible audio. It will be so annoying. I hope that I am part of why I'm even speaking louder in this video is because sadly I'm shooting in Nigeria and this is impromptu and I'm right, I'm not so far from the generator. But I will look for how to mask it out to respect it. But what I'm trying to say is, even with that, I'm making sure that you can hear me. Now, when you want to do a monologue, do not come and start whispering. Your whispering does not mean you know how to act. There are ways that your voice can seem like it's low, but it is audible. So now, for example, I want to say, pass me the gun, right? I'm not saying come and say, pass me the gun. Especially if it's in a scenario where you're trying to be like sneaky and stop. But if I say, pass me the gun, pass me the gun, pass me the gun, pass me the gun, it feels like I'm whispering. I it's from, pass me the gun, no, I'm not doing that. You need to be audible, whatever you are saying. Look, Nguanu, I really don't know the meaning, but it's sweet to say, yo. You need to be really audible with your monologue, or else just forget about it. You are talking to yourself. Now, if you cannot afford a mic, first, you need to download any of the editing apps on phone. I'm not going to promote any of them, but there are plenty. And if you're going to be an actor, it means you like filmmaking. Somehow. You need to be able to learn the basics, which is that. All you have to do is get on that person's phone, go to record, Go to voice record, okay, and put it close to you. Not in the frame, not necessarily in the frame. Like for example, now I do not believe you can see my phone, but I can put this phone here and I'm recording a different audio. And I press um, record on the camera that is and get. I mean, you may not even get a tripod. Get books, get table, arrange the books well. Put the phone. Let's it look at you in landscape. This is landscape. Shoot it like this. Not like this. Especially if you are saying it's a professional monologue. Shoot like this. Not like this. Press record. And press record on your audio. And now act. Okay? When you are done, take this audio. Go to the editing app. Send it to this phone. Put that video, the picture. Put it on top. Put this audio. Put it below that one. Try and make sure that it's at the same timing with what you are saying there. Make sure. Some people will just lay it. When you talk now, the talk, your mouth will move like two seconds after. Please make sure. The, fa the fact that you are not even paying enough attention to make sure means you probably do not care about the monologue in the first place. Make sure that they are well aligned and that it makes sense. Now, I mean that is for audio. If you cannot have put on that person's phone and there's not that audio whatever to do, Please, try to do monologues that will not make you whisper first. Because if we cannot hear you, it's difficult. Make sure that no matter how far your phone is, because you do not have a mic, probably frame like this. More like this. So that way, your phone is literally close to you. If you can invest in a tripod, get a tripod and your phone. And be audible. Be very audible. If you think it's not loud enough, on these same editing apps on phone, see, I'm saying the basic ones, you can double the audio layer, meaning you copy where audio D, copy, drop down. That's double, it becomes louder. Or even when you copy it, you can increase the audio from 100 to maybe like 150. Don't go to 200 because there's something called picking. You start picking and it's become irritating to the ears. Okay? Make sure that wherever you are recording this video is silent. Don't try as much as possible that it's not where there's one chicken somewhere that will make sound or one dog that will back. Now, if you're doing an emotional monologue, for example, now, think about it. Oh, my dad is dead. And one dog at the back saying, woof, woof. It's distracting. You might have to do it more than one, do it twice, do it three times. Maybe when you are doing it, that's when your mommy opens the door and say, ah, your food is ready, come and eat. Of course, you can't leave it. So there are several factors that might make you want to do it over and over again. And that should not kill your vibe. Okay? So, everywhere should be as silent as possible. Um, the most important part 
which I decided to keep for the last, is how you light. Luckily for a lot of people, with phones, you don't need so much light. You don't need professional lights and the rest. If I let me bust your head, I'm shooting this particular mo this particular video with just one light, a Falcon. I'm sorry, it's a professional whatever. But what I'm trying to see is how you position the light matters. And what else do you use? A reflector or stuff? Now let me teach you a cheat, right? First, stay where it's bright. You don't have money. That's why you probably don't have these things. And you can't go to a studio, but you want to make sure that the monologue still looks good. Make sure you stay in a place that is bright. Open the window. So a lot of people have seen my monologue and like, how did you make your background black? Yo, if I tell you I made my background black, you will know that you should not be trying to be useless things. It's difficult. There are so many things to play with. I'm playing with the f-stop on my camera, I'm taking it down, I'm playing with my light setup, but because I am a professional, I'm not just an actor, I'm a filmmaker, I'm a director, I'm a director of photography, I know what to do. But I'm telling you that if you want to get that acting job, as an actor and you're just an actor, and you're shooting with your phone, make sure you stay in a place that is bright. Now, if there's light up, the better for you. Apart from your window. Now in this case, there is a few from the window here for me and there's this light from up. So now, because the light is coming more from like here, this is stronger and this is not as strong. But I just need something to balance here, which is the light from the window. Okay? Now, just below is a reflector, which I try to make sure is not so strong because I don't want to kill the shadows here. Now for you, if you're using your phone, if you're staying close to the window, like I'm doing now, for example, uh, make sure that your back, if you're still with your phone, listen to me, make sure that your back is not bright. If the back is bright, you will become Ujuju Kalaba. There's something we call a, a, a silhouette. That's what you become. We will be looking for you in the image. So don't go and stand in front of the window this way, with the window being behind you. Especially because you do not have enough light to combat that light so that we can see your face. So don't do that. Make sure that your back is probably the darkest part and your source of light is coming from the front. And make sure that the light is hitting you. We can see your face. You do not necessarily have to start doing some form of negative feel. You don't understand those things. So do not stress yourself. Focus on what you want to do, which is the acting. Now, another thing you can do to cheat is you don't you don't you probably will not have a reflector you don't even know what a reflector is most times if you have a mirror in your house wherever you are standing for example if the light is like coming from up here like this for example you can place the mirror on the floor like this the mirror is going to bounce this light to your face extra light you do not buy any light setup at all you do not even buy a reflector what you took is that mirror the mirror that you always go to that you stand in front and make sure that you are fine and everything put that mirror there it's going to bounce light to you. Make sure that the mirror is taking light from whatever the source is and it's into your face. That way, your face is going to be lit. If you know to get light, get phones, put a phone somewhere. Make it into your... We must see your face. Now, some of these cheats that I'm saying is a lot of ones that people do not understand. So, they just go to their room, stay in front of the um, window. No. Make sure that... The windows are pretty much on your side or literally you're facing the window like i'm facing now but it's not going to be bright enough because my main source of light is from here okay so i mean these are factors that are very important in shooting your monologues when you do your monologue don't except you do not speak in english and you think that people that are listening to in english and you speak on that language so subtitle it but there's no need to subtitle english monologue if you subtitle english monologue i will read the monologue people will read the monologue and they're going to stop looking at your actor very important shooting your monologue very audible very clear don't start forming stylistic anything do not try it especially if your monologue or if you don't have the resources let me just put it like that then focus on the monologue focus on the acting make sure that it is dope like it is it, mad and sometimes don't press don't put yourself under pressure one monologue is not going to make or mar your career. You're supposed to keep developing. Okay? I hope that somehow, somehow, I've been able to help answer 
how to shoot a monologue. It's difficult to explain all of this in how many minutes now? Maybe 36, 35 minutes-ish. Very difficult. But I'm trying to make sure that at least you pick one or two things from this. Shoot your monologues. Always see, if you are, if you are trying to grow as an actor and you're just starting, this is an assignment for you. You need to make sure that you do at least two monologues a week. That's the only way you can become better as an actor. What not message the only way? But I will cast me, go talk on that. But I'm telling you, what I just meant is before you go say, I'm saying something else and put me in trouble. But what I'm trying to say is, make sure that you, sh you make at least two monologues a, a week. Do not be shy to post it. I've seen people that will tell me, oh, this is my monologue, but I can't post it on my page. I'm sorry, you want me to invest my money in you by putting you in my film when you are shy or bothered of putting your own work on your own page because somehow you they think or you think that is not good enough for your friends and family. But you think that I can put that in my film, take that risk, or in the film that somebody gives me money to make and put you in it because you'll be somehow good for my own friends and family. You they whine me. Like literally, you must you they, you actually they whine me. Capital letters. Be willing to put it on your page. Your friends and family need to accept that you are going on a journey and you, are, you want to become an actor. And that is it. There is no, ah, I don't know. Baba, you want to be an actor. They will laugh at, they laughed at me when I started. They are still laughing. Some will still comment and laugh. And be careful, the ones that you need to be careful of. These ones are the mad people. When you do rubbish, they say, oh, Twali, oh, I see your monologue. You are mad. But you are going to have people like that. Okay? And you cannot shy away from them. But I keep telling people, and like one of my friends would say when I was in school, his name is Oyelusi Pusayo. If they, they whine you, I mean, if they are lying to you, do not lie to yourself. Okay? Monologue, monologue, monologues. Please subscribe to my page. I've been talking for a long time. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to this YouTube page and like, comment, share. And I hope that somehow I the things I say would help you become a better actor. Thank you. See you again while we talk about, I mean, we're just going to finalize on the basics of acting as a beginner to start with and stuff. But yeah, see you again in the next version <laughs> of whatever the cook, whatever it is. I wanted to say whatever the fuck, I just said whatever the fuck again. Whatever it is. Okay.